Greetings, people of the world! Matthew back with you for the continuation of this minimalist run let's play of Final Fantasy X-2. And if things look a little different than they normally do when I get this game started, well, that's because you're right. Yeah, you're probably wondering, what happened to Yuna? Well, we're actually looking at her right now because we have successfully completed our objective of stealing three of the uniforms worn by LeBlanc's cronies to be able to use them to infiltrate her hideout. And so that is where we are going next. And as you can see, the girls, the other girls, Rico and Payne, are already decked out. So let's now go make our way to where we need to go next. No, we're good. We're good, we're fine. All is well with the world. So then, off to Guado Salam, into the chateau. Change into those uniforms and charge, uh, rather, sneak your way into Chateau LeBlanc. Let's take back that sphere. Let's do it. So yeah, this is definitely a good place. If you're wanting to do some quick grinding, you can definitely do that. Um, for the purposes of the getting your abilities increased. So as it stands right now, I have Yuna currently about to learn life, which is something we could definitely use. Riku is fine on her abilities right now as a warrior. And for Pain, she is good with the magic break. She'll be able to keep learning that. So, satisfied with what we currently have, before we can be able to infiltrate Chateau LeBlanc, which is of course the former home of Maester Seymour Guado, we need to go up topside to get duck out of view. We have to go to a specific spot where we can be able to change. I believe it is this vantage point? No, it's not that vantage point. Which one did I do in the practice run? Because, yeah, you, oh yeah, that's right, you have to actually walk up to the, yeah, now you walk up towards the chateau. I hope this works. Yeah, I forgot about that from the practice run. Yeah, they actually okay, now sneak see. over to that position w where they're looking at the vantage point above Chateau LeBlanc, but now we can make that transition. So now it is well and truly on. The mission can now begin. Faking and entering. Nobody steals from the Gullwings, sneak into Chateau LeBlanc, and take back what's rightfully yours. Recover the Stolen Sphere. So, let's do this. Huh? What is it? Reporting for duty. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, I mean, they are your own. Supposedly, I mean, you can't see their faces, of course, because they're wearing those silly veils. Another smashing success! We're not done yet. Where's the sphere? Yeah. Oh, someone's coming. Who could it be? Thank you, LeBlanc. Well, this is actually a bit of a surprise. That's Maven Nuge of the Youth League. And apparently, he's conspiring with LeBlanc. Now I finally know the location of Vegnagun. Spear is in for a rough ride. Take care. Oh, yes, love. Yeah, the LeBlanc Syndicate conspiring with the Youth League. Our mortal enemies are fraternizing with them. How long must we be apart? And apparently LeBlanc has a thing for Nuge. Without you are not easy on me, love. Yeah, Nuge, your taste in women is terrible. How can you fall in love with someone like that? Or does he necessarily reciprocate the love? In any event, let's go in here, while well, LeBlanc's back turned, and we can go over this direction. And find, guess who, Ormi and Logos. The boss is a different poison when that Nuge guy shows up, huh? Certainly looks that way, doesn't Pressing it? Her natural charm and acting like some housewife. She must be tense. Her natural charm? You. Go to the boss's chambre and tend to your duties. What duties? You know, use your talents to help her uh, unwind. Yeah, we actually have to give LeBlanc some help here. <laughs> so, yeah, we're, we're aiding our own enemy. <laughs> so we got to go now up to where LeBlanc's chamber is. 
is it that that time already? Is it? Don't hold back. <laughs> what do you mean? Don't hold back. <laughs> well, you're about to see for yourself. So, there's LeBlanc right there. With a statue of Nuge. Boy, she is obsessed with him. I'm glad we didn't give that spear to the Youth League. For what? Well, if you can believe it, we have to give LeBlanc a massage. <laughs> Duty calls. Give LeBlanc the massage of a lifetime. Watch your reaction and adjust your technique accordingly for peak pleasure. <laughs> now, I don't know about you guys personally, but as far as I know, you really don't get anything from giving her the maximum satisfaction of getting up to her up to 32 and 15 rounds. So basically, this is you're just trying to figure out uh, logically where to give her the best satisfaction, but we'll see how this goes. Ooh. Yeah, and the the you can see on the chart the better you are, the more points you score. So basically, it's just a guessing game. Let's go this way. Not there. No, not there. All right, how about down here? Yeah, that's it. So, yeah, the starting in the middle is always the best method. Because it really gives you an idea of, to gauge where to go next. Uh. All right, we're getting closer. What about over here? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, if you, don't, if you give her a situation where you don't score at all, she can say some pretty obscene things. Let's hope it doesn't come to that. Well, that wasn't it, but yeah. Ah, we're getting closer. Bullseye. <laughs> oh, LeBlanc, you were a freak. Ah, close. And we score again. Yeah, it's not that hard to score the maximum satisfaction. But yeah, we've got to 32. Oh yeah? What if I do this? Yeah, because, yeah, I'm done with you. Mm, that is good. When did you get so good at this? <laughs> uh, um, I, I don't know. No, I guess not. Oh, yeah, that's the spot. Oh, right there. Yes, don't stop. Uh, uh, yeah, to think that she needs her own personal masseuse. Such a manly man, don't you think? He can be blunt, but that makes the occasional smile all the more irresistible. What, he doesn't smile enough that towards you? Godly smile. That's the whole reason I became a sphere hunter. Strictly to Wu Nuj, huh? Only there was some miracle sphere. Something that could make him truly happy. What I wouldn't give. Yeah, well thanks for giving Yuna all this valuable information. We'll be sure to use it if we do want to. In fact, we're so good at this. She fell asleep. <laughs> Have you ever had that happen before? Where someone was giving you a massage and you got put out? Oh, I'm that good? Yeah. I have the power of massage to put people to sleep. <laughs> the boss fell asleep again. Yeah, I guess so. One massage and she's out like a light. We've been waiting for her to, because she had something important to tell us. Well, I guess you're gonna have to wait unless you want to throw some cold water on her and really piss her off. But nonetheless, you'll just have to keep waiting. yeah, you'll just have to be patient, good little boys. Go make sure the switch panel is working. Uh, switch? The back of the living room, the same one as always. Yeah, th thanks for leaking that info. Yeah, I'll leave you to your leader. And we'll now go back to where we were we f where we first met Ormi and Logos here. Excuse me. So downstairs we shall go. Downstairs we shall go to go and find the switch that they were referring to. So let's go over here around the beautiful buffet and come right around here. This is where it is. Hey Riku, Payne, where have you been? Well, you're about to find out. It does nothing! That's it? What a letdown! 
Yeah, it does nothing until... Riku... ...does that! <laughs> yeah, that's quite hilarious. Well, we decided to come in here. With the boss. Yeah, exactly. The boss. Uh. <clears throat> I've had this thing on too long. Let's change. <laughs> yeah, so rather than keep the look on, they just shed their attire. And this might prove to be a bad idea, as we're about to soon find out why. Because the moment we make a move. This happens. This is brother. How's it going? <laughs> yeah, bad time for this there, brother. Yeah, he's never had to infiltrate anything, so therefore he doesn't know how to operate this sort of thing. And unsurprisingly, we get caught out. Hi there. Yeah, busted. Alright, we gotta fight Ormi again. As well as some cronies. So let's take a two of them. Let's get rid of the Femgoon, of course, first, because they're the magic casters, therefore that makes them particularly dangerous. Let's go after the doctor now. Alright, so let's just keep praying. And, um. Oh, wait. Um, okay, it's. Oops, so- No, that's not the right one, and crap! I gave it to the wrong- I transitioned to the wrong character. Riku was supposed to change over to Thief. Well, I guess we might as well let- Give Pain a shot at it. We might as well- Have Pain make an attempt to steal. <laughs> and damn, that is one scary More Thief outfit. Well, maybe we can make this happen. Ah, perfect. <laughs> Yeah, now we have to get back to our priorities again, because, yeah, we lost our... Alright, Pain, go back to being a warrior. Meanwhile, Riku, give a potion to, um, Yuna. Uh, and hurry! Hurry, hurry, hurry! Because, yeah, that Huggles ability, that's pretty much an instant kill. Alright, Phoenix down again. Yeah, it seems like these guys like to bring their A-game for... This round, oh, again. Now, I think I need to have Yuna switch to her special dress sphere quickly. Oh, man. They are not wasting any time bringing their A game here. Let's try this again. So, yeah, Payne shows off her stealing ability for one time only. Now let's see if we can get back our priorities. Draw that sword back there, Pain. We need you to use it in a hurry. All I need is my okay, now then. Oh crap, it's gonna take a long time to get back to Reek or Yuna. Alright. Change. Never mind. Oh man. I don't know about you, but this is getting annoying. Oh, wow. They are just not taking anything to chance here. Alright, come on, Yuna, get back on your feet and hurry. Alright, we need you to... Well, first let's use Cura. That needs to be the big priority, because, yeah, it looks like... Yeah, he's loading up to kill someone else off again! Wow. He didn't do this in the practice run, believe me. I don't know what brought this sudden desire to step up his game, but yeah, it's pissing me off. It is really pissing me off. No! Yikes. I've had enough of you. We're power breaking you. Yuna, change quickly. Yeah, change quickly, then get to that special dress sphere. Alright. 
R1. Now. Now we're taking away your crazy abilities and I'm going into overdrive as it were. Uh, and the fact that Yuna is going to start with only 300 HP is not good. I better make this count. Yeah, I always thought this was a really awesome kick-ass dress sphere. So, yeah, we really need to get some healing going on. Oh, crap. And unsurprisingly... Wow. At the very least, I'll be allowed to complete my turn, but... Yeah, I'm not impressed with this. Yeah... I, I really should have seen that coming, I really should have. So Yuna's dead, yet again! And of course, it's right when the final blow is struck. Unbelievable! Ormi, you're pissing me off now! I've had enough of your crap. Damn it. Yeah, I, co I come into the... Playing this now for trying to get the completion on the Let's Play and suddenly the enemies have really ramped up their game. Unbelievable. This is nuts. At least we get to save. Yeah, I use those potions for no other reason than the fact that I just wanted to keep myself alive. Oh, man. No love lost here, so... Yeah, after that embarrassment, we're gonna have to take a quick timeout. And then we will get back to this in just a moment, so be right back. <laughs> 